Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 89th episode of the Woo Crew Podcast. I'm here, as always, my co-host, Matthew. That's me. And we're here to talk about everything going on in the LEGO world this week, which, unfortunately, is, like, absolutely nothing, but that's okay. You know, we're, we're here, we're having a good time. Might be a shorter episode this week, but it uh, might be a longer episode next week, because, who Whoops. knows, maybe news will drop or something, you know? Maybe something will drop. Maybe something will drop. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we're, we'll worry about that next week. <laughs> uh, for now, we're going to worry about this week. Yeah, well, what do you say about next week? I said we'll worry about anything that happens next week next week. Yeah. Um, you I'm guys, have, I mean, you, don't have, you guys don't have anything necessarily to look forward to. But, no. you know. But it could be. Like, we don't know what's going to happen yeah, next we, week. We don't, we don't know what's going to happen in the next week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get started, real quick shout out to all the YouTube members helping support the channel. And a very special thank you to Pirate Rupert here and Bub. We have <laughs> Garfield, Tumbleweed, Suntan, Craftmaster C, and we got a new one, Nicholas Miller. Welcome, uh, Nicholas Miller. Nicholas Miller has actually been a member for 13 months, but Nicholas has been a lower tier member before this and just upgraded to a pyro tier so thank you very much for yeah. supporting nicholas appreciate um, it and if it was a birthday present your upgrade happy birthday yep true <laughs> happy birthday if it was your birthday um anyway want to talk about lego um sure so what should we talk about this week <laughs> so the only like major well there was there is some stuff i would like to talk about that we can't talk about so we're not going to mention that um, um let's just say I have um, let me let me let me get it out real quick so I'm not leaking anything. Um, what's give this gonna be? Matthew, just a moment. All right. Um, what's this gonna be? Here is a custom Lego purple clone trooper. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is a custom minifigure. Yep. Um, but I'm just thinking, if Lego were to ever make something official like this, it would be incredible, and I would be so happy. Me too, me too. Um, I would love to see something like that. But yeah, um, I feel like honestly, if they put like two of these and like an airborne trooper in a forty dollars set with Mace Windu, I would be so happy. Well, you know what, Matthew? Not that we've seen anything, but there is a rumor of exactly that. Whoa! There's a rumor that we're getting a forty dollar Republic fighter yeah. tank. Um, which is from, a, it's a rumor from Greek Bricks. That's where that comes from, okay? And this is just a rumor, and we don't actually know anything about it. We have no proof of this, oh, but that's oh. a rumor. But if it did happen, I feel like it would probably happen in May. Um, that, that's my guess, um, if they were going to release a set like this. I think that's probably part of, a ru part of the rumor. I don't um, think... It's just a prediction. Okay. <laughs> um, For the record, like, this is... Yeah, no, this the, the Greek Bricks rumor... <laughs> mentions that it's coming in may yes so okay um, um <laughs> but if they if this is if, if this rumor is real and i feel like if if there were pictures of it i would be really excited about them and want to army build them no comment all right <laughs> <laughs> I, I i've been doing that the past few weeks <laughs> no comment all right moving on. oh wait we did get actually something pretty big the tr the opening to the next Ninjago season just randomly popped up. Oh yeah, I watched it, but I feel like it didn't really tell me much. It didn't show very much, but we saw little glimpses of things. Jay has a beard. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Jay has... Oh, okay, Jay has a beard and he's in Dr. Julian's lighthouse. Bro, he just like me for real. <laughs> Are you in Dr. Julian's lighthouse? I got a beard. Oh, true. But no, we... uh, So he's in Dr. Julian's lighthouse, which means Echo Zane could potentially be returning. That would... I wonder if he's what he's doing there has to do with Nia. Well, I assume, because, like, that's obviously it was a significant location in Skybound, and that's, like, when Nia was like, hey, Jay, I, I actually, I do like you. Um, I love you. Goodbye. Um, so, like, obviously it's got an emotional connection for him, and also it is a building completely surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's the double meaning there. Yeah. Um, and I feel like my prediction is he's just sort of pulled up there. Um, yeah, I would probably agree. Alone with his thoughts, not shaving. Um, I mean, whenever you're depressed, that's kind of what you do. Yeah. Uh, I that's. I don't know if you've ever been depressed before, Sean, but um, a common no. symptom of that is uh, growing a beard. Well, shout out to Jay for that one. He's a real one for that. <laughs> but that that's a... Uh... That trailer is very exciting. I made like two videos on that already, so I don't need to go too in depth here. But I saw that you posted them. Yeah. Um. 
I'm very excited. It's also it confirmed those crystal rumors are most likely true because not not that we had many doubts because they were from promo bricks who are typically reliable, but yeah. like we did the, the crystals are going to be this pinkish purpley color. Yes. Um, and I'm very excited to see the the crystal villains and whatnot. We also see in the in the opening that like Kai's got some sort of new suit, which I doubt we're going to get physically, but it looks pretty cool. And uh, Lloyd is like working in an ice cream shop, so. So, I guess they all broke up after Mia died. Yeah, I assume it's going to be something similar to Season 4. Yeah. Um, but I, this gets me very excited. It gets me, like, in the Ninjago mood again, and I cannot wait to see these sets. <clears throat> um, we'll probably see them soonish. I hope so. Um, yeah, because May 1st, at the absolute latest, we'll see them. Yeah. But knowing retailers online, it'll probably be sooner than that. It'll probably be sometime late March, April. Yeah. All right. Uh, other things. Um, brick sketches of Iron Man and Miles Morales. Oh uh, yeah. Why are they making more of these? I mean, I do like brick sketches in theory, but do I like them enough to ever buy them? No. No. I'm not even gonna pull up pictures because I don't think people really care. <clears throat> if you want to find them, go look online. You just look up brick sketches. And... Yeah. Uh, Miles Morales, I do think is a cool character to get one at least. Yeah, yeah I agree. But. I, I, I really like the guy who makes the brick sketches, so, like, yeah. I feel bad being too critical of them, and I do think they are cool sets, I just... They look good, it's just not for me. Yeah, I just, and I feel like that's not really for anyone. They, like, they're cool to post on Instagram, which is where they, what they, what originally happened with them, so... I know my Lego store plug was saying that, um, they sell really well, so... Oh, really? Yeah. See, I've heard from Lego store employees that they sell really poorly. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe I'm misremembering them. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I heard, like, that those alongside Brickheads were, like, some of the worst-selling things ever. Huh. So, I'm not sure. But, yeah, Iron Man and Miles Morales, they're, they're cool. Not for, not going to get either of them, but they're yeah. all right. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, next, uh, we have rumors of Lego Avatar, which... First off, I still don't believe this movie's coming out. I know it's supposed <clears> to be this year, but this movie had, has supposed to come out, like, the past I five like years. I know, I feel like it's been, like, the past six or seven years that this movie's been supposed to come out. And it's a sequel to, like, a movie from, what, 2008? I think it's 2009. Yeah. Um, but regardless, it does sound like it is actually coming out this year, but I won't believe it till I actually see a trailer. Um, I agree. But regardless, rumors of Avatar 2 sets. Uh... And despite me not caring at all about the movie, and I think these are going to flop on shelves. So, something I will say, though. Um, the rumors... So, we know they're Avatar. We don't know if they're Avatar 2 sets. They could, It could be, like, one Avatar 2 set and then some Avatar 1 sets. Literally would not make a difference to me or any other consumer. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I feel like I'm a little less cynical with this because I, I just like weird licenses. I feel like they'll look cool, and that's all that matters to me. No, I, I, I agree they'll probably look cool, but my thing is I don't think they'll sell. I think – because I, I like Lego Overwatch a lot, and those didn't sell. I'm probably going to buy them. Because the thing is there is like approximately zero Avatar fans in the entire world. Despite being the highest grossing movie of all time, nobody cares about that franchise. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, it, it's very much like a one-off movie, and I don't know why they're continuing it besides – If the they fact- continued it like – Two or three years after the first one, like, where people actually liked it, that'd be something. But, I mean, just go back. Remember that Jax Films video where he goes around oh, it? Yeah. What is the name of the main character of Avatar? Or, I don't even, I think it was just, can you name one character from Avatar? Okay. And, <laughs> like, he would pay, he would give them, like, $5 or something, they could name one character from Avatar. And, like, I believe only one person got it in the entire video. That just shows, like how little space that movie takes up in people's minds. Yeah, no one thinks about it. The main character's name is Jake Sully, by the way. Yeah, which I know because of the Jack Sully's video. That's, <laughs> that's actually the only reason I remember it now, just in case someone comes up to me and offers me money to name a character from Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I don't think these are going to sell well, but I am excited for them because I think they could potentially look cool depending on what they are. I hope we get some good environments because the environments in Avatar are absolutely beautiful. Yes. But the first movie did have like weird mech suits and whatnot, and they were just like gray and kind of boring. And I feel like those might be the sets, and I will not care if those are what we get. I'll still care about those because you know what? We're never going to get Lego Halo. And no one quote me on that if we ever do get Lego Halo. But 
Avatar is not too far off from some of the Halo vehicle designs, so um, I'm happy. Yeah. Because this is about as like Lego Halo as we'll probably ever get. There's a poten- there, like there is some potential for the vehicles. Like I, I guess I shouldn't write them all off completely. Like they could be cool, but the environments are a million times cooler than the vehicles would be. So yeah, yeah I, 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 I hope we get some pretty environments. But like there was a Avatar Ideas project that was really pretty. Yeah, that, I, that got rejected. I hope at least something looks like that did. Yeah. Um, we have full details of the character packs of the Skywalker Saga. Do we care? Yes, but also, like, not enough to... Dis- There's not a lot of discussion to be had about it. Yeah. Um, Skywalker Saga in general, I'm going back and forth on, like, where I w- whether I want to get it on Switch <clears throat> or PC. I'm, ex- I'm getting it for Switch. I... I would rather play it on Switch, but I also know LEGO games do not run well on Switch, so... I, I, I don't know. I, I And I, I'm also going back and forth on do I want the deluxe edition or just the regular, because... We'll get the most mileage out of getting it on Switch, even if it doesn't run the best. Yeah. Um, then are you, are you getting the deluxe edition or just the regular one? What's the difference? Is it just characters? Yeah, you get all the character packs. I might get the deluxe if I'm uh, not You get all the character packs, and if you buy it physically, you get the Blue Milk Luke. I might get the deluxe edition just because... Blue Milk, Luke, whatever, but I, I know myself, I will want to play as some of those characters. Yeah, um, I just, I want to know, like, because we've, we've seen so little from this game, like, we've seen, oh. like, decent amount from trailers, but, like, I have no idea how characters play, like, is it gonna be, like, is there gonna be three characters, or is there actually gonna be 400? So, I think, no, okay, I, I know some of them will kind of be repeats of one another, but it appears that there's, like, a leveling system, and you can level up different character types, and I think there's, like, six or eight character types. Hmm. Um, but each of them can have, like, different higher, like, abilities. Like, say, you have Luke and Ray. Ray might be better with the Force, but Luke might be better with lightsabers, even though they're both, like, Force-using Jedi. Hmm, interesting. I think like, that's how it's gonna work. That's my biggest thing with the character packs, is, like, the trooper pack. Are all of those just gonna be skins of the same thing? Yeah, um... Or I, the Bad Batch. Is that that just gonna be five of the same character? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. That's the kind of thing I am a little worried about, but... I don't know. I still buy Fortnite skins, and all of that's literally meaningless, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll probably get the Deluxe Edition. I'm also going back and forth between physical and digital right now. Um, because another, another thing to keep in mind, um... Everything is ten dollars cheaper on Steam. Is that so? On Steam, uh, normal is fifty, deluxe is sixty. Everywhere else, um, normal sixty, deluxe is seventy. I I'd rather get the minifigure though. Like yeah, yeah, that's that's I, fair. I, I like weird exclusive minifigures like that, and I feel like it's been a really long time since they've done one with a game. Yeah. Well, I guess they haven't released a game in a long time. No, they have not, and this might be the last one. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I don't know. I'll probably get it and. If I'm being honest, I'll probably get it day one. Uh, yeah. I, I do want to see, like, I hope we get some Switch gameplay footage before it comes out, because I do want to see how it runs on Switch, because as long as it's not atrocious, I probably will go with Switch. Mm-hmm. But... If, if nothing else, I'll let you know day one. Yeah, yeah. Because I am getting it for Switch. Yeah. April um, 5th, too. It's, like, less than a month away, which is crazy. I, I know. I'm excited. Spe- speaking, speaking of video games, I might get on Halo tonight. I'm not done. I, I literally, I was so excited for that game and barely played it. <laughs> Have you done, I, like, the story mode? I never finished it. Oh, wow. I, I want to finish it, but I'm just so busy with school and work that yeah. I don't have time. You're on spring break now, though, right? Yeah, I am, so I have time. How How's that been? Okay. Yeah. I, you know. I mean, are, are you working still, or has that stopped? Oh, no, I'm, yeah, yesterday was my first day off, and I don't go back to work till next Thursday. That's nice, at least. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, no homework, no school. It's so nice. Enjoy, uh, enjoy, uh, to, to all the, uh, like, people still in school, like, not college that are watching this, enjoy the, uh, enjoy your breaks while you still got them. <laughs> I've always said that to me, and I, ne- it never really sat in until I, like, actually did not, do not get time off ever. Yeah. So, enjoy it while you have it, kiddos. Or you can just make YouTube videos and you determine your own breaks. Yeah, that too. Must be nice. <laughs> I, I do have a paying job now, too, kind of. It's which... true. I do not get to determine my own breaks, but... Um, anyways, what else do we have this week? Um, Batman came out. Batman came out, I haven't seen it, but Matthew has. 
Matthew has seen it. Um, let's ask Riddler what he thinks. Riddler, what do you think? Very insightful. Um, no, it, it's an incredible movie, and I highly recommend people go watch it if they're Batman fans. It, it it's very much like a detective Batman movie, which I don't think they've really done on in the Batman movies yet. Like especially the live action ones, it's kind of always just a superhero movie and like an origin movie. It that's not what this was, and I really liked that. There's a lot of like buddy cop stuff with Batman and Jim Gordon, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it, it's such a well done movie. I really enjoyed it. It it makes Batman feel like a character, and it grounds him. I think more than some of the other movies did. Like it doesn't feel like he has ridiculous gadgets. I mean, like there is some suspension of disbelief, but it isn't like I don't know. I, as much as I love the Dark Knight, the the Tumbler is a ridiculous vehicle, yeah. and like, all of his vehicles are, make no sense in real life, and yeah. it doesn't very grounded like his vehicle in this is a 1988 dodge charger with like a turbo engine like i like that it's an actual vehicle like it works really well as a batmobile but it's a real life vehicle like his battering is is like he uses this as a knife the thing on his chest like you see him in one scene take it off and like cut something with it that's really cool i don't know I, I like that they actually show him with the eye makeup on because I don't know if you knew this, but every live action Batman has worn eye makeup. They've just never like acknowledged it. Like in the um, I think George Clooney one, he had eye makeup on when he was wearing the mask. But there's one like a scene in particular where you can see him without it because he's about to like take his mask off on screen. <laughs> and it's like I like that they just acknowledge that like this is a human being a kid like he is being a superhero and it isn't like it, it feels less like a superhero movie movie and more just like a crime thriller movie yeah um, i mean the riddler feels like serial killers that we've seen in real life like he feels less like the joker and more like ted bundy which is i think a cool way to portray that yeah um i don't know it's a really well done movie i highly recommend it um Lego sets are also very accurate, which is cool. That's cool. That's um, good to hear. Like, which I, one, I, if you could only recommend one, which would you recommend? Batmobile, probably. Yeah. I'd probably say the Batmobile, because that's my favorite of the three. But also, the Batcave is incredibly accurate to what you see in the movie and also has all of the characters you could possibly want. Yeah. Um, And it's, I think, $70, and it's on sale a lot of the time at Target and Walmart. Dude. Okay, so what what's that set retail? Seventy? Uh yeah. Dude, my Target had it in the clearance my Walmart had it in the clearance section for seventy. Like they it, had it, it might be an eighty dollar set. Or no, like I, I looked it up, it had it in the clearance section for its retail price. Like I I I like I looked it up because I saw the price, I'm like, eighty, isn't that normal price? And then I looked it up, I'm like, yeah, that is. Why it why does it have a clearance sticker on it? <clears throat> no, um if, if you can ever find that set on sale, I think that's probably the best one to get just because one it's a good bat cave especially because of how accurate it is to what you see in the movie like but also it comes with alfred jim gordon batman catwoman um riddler and bruce wayne minifigure and that is all the characters you could possibly need yeah. like what about penguins so penguin is in it he's not like super important okay um he he's he's there and he's present in throughout the movie but the main villain is Riddler. Gotcha. Like, and Catwoman is not really a villain in this movie, but she's also always there. Did you hear she drank milk like a cat to prepare for the role? I did hear about that. I feel like I'm like completely talking out of my ass, like talking about this, but it, it it's really good and like I, actually, I'm just looking at the sets now. Like they did a really good job of like portraying the scenes of the movie. Like, yeah. At the sets. Like, they, they picked sets well. I, I'm honestly pretty surprised at how good of a job they did. Because usually, when they release sets so long before the movie, it's, like, kind of sketchy with, yeah. with how accurate they are. But no, they got it. They got it. It's weird how early those sets came out, too. I know. They were November That's, drops, right? Uh, Yeah, this movie was supposed to come out last year. That's so. true. Right, yeah. Hmm. Just very good movie. Sets are also really good. Minifigures are accurate. Uh. I, I genuinely have no complaints about that movie, though. Yep. Besides, it's long. <laughs> I, I don't plan to get any of the sets still, except for maybe the smallest one, but if I see the movie and I like it, that could change. Yeah. Uh, you want to do some viewer questions? I sure have some pretty decent ones this week. 
Yeah, let's do it. It's been a couple weeks since we've done that last. All right, so here's a kind of funny question. Um, worst idea for a Lego set. I think this would be really funny if Lego Ideas ran a contest where it's like, give me the worst Lego set idea, no matter what it is, we have to produce it. Like, I, I don't know. Like, okay, like imagine like a creative brick box, but it's built just like, it's just all pieces that don't fit together at all. Like a creative brick box with. It's just like, <clears throat> like super like really long, oddly shaped wing pieces, but like only one side, so like you can't have two <laughs> matching <laughs> angles. On um, like, <clears throat> dude, I'm gonna be honest. There are uses for that for parts like that though. Just like build terrain with that. Right, but like uses of that by itself without like any additional very I don't know. And dude. like maybe like random like technic um <laughs> technic <laughs> pieces random. like. Random Technic axles, like, door panels without door frames, so they're literally unusable. You know what I just realized I'm describing? What? What's it called? <laughs> well, I'm going to pull up a picture, and I'm just going to share my screen with you. Are you talking about those, like, education sets? Yep, like a serious play. That's exactly what we're describing right now. Yeah, those are literally just, like, random collection of pieces <laughs> that don't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, let me show this to the viewers. If you guys have never heard of Lego Serious Play, um, I don't know what it is. Like, Serious Play, I believe, is supposed to be, like, for businesses to buy to do team-building exercises with their employees, but... What? And they're a combination of system and Duplo parts, and, like, none of them go together. And it's so strange. Like, go off Lego. I don't know what they're doing there, but you know it haven't... still exists too. Like I thought this was like a one and done yeah. thing, but like, bro, imagine like working a desk job, <laughs> like hating your job, right? Like you have to go in every morning, work for eight hours, and one day your boss is like, "All right, guys, gotta come in for a training." And you get to the table, and he dumps out a bunch of Legos. Like it's time for Lego serious play. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play seriously. <laughs> It's, it's that all right team it's that time we're gonna have some fun today we're gonna get into groups of four and um well, i'm gonna assign them so don't don't pick don't pick people just yet and um before we go home today for the next three no you can't leave early jim um i don't care if you have a doctor's appointment um we are uh, we're gonna be playing with lego um now I don't want to see anything inappropriate, and uh, I, let's keep it let's keep it clean because this is a workplace. But um, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna we're gonna work together as a team. And uh, all right, let's get right to it. All right, um, I, Jim, I want you to make a uh, try to create a pitch for your for a new cereal using only this uh, Lego Duplo uh, turtle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like aside from a career brick box, like the actual like worst anyway, I was saying Lego video beatboxes. That's the worst set idea ever, clearly, because they're always on sale for like five dollars and nobody buys them still. Yeah. You know, I, I still find them for thirteen dollars at Target a lot. I'm waiting for it to be anything cheaper than that before I buy a couple more. I like legitimately, like mine has the llama and the unicorn for six at my Walmart. Or no, sorry, the llama's 11, the unicorn's 6, and I only bought one unicorn, because even for $6, I don't really want it. Next time you're over there, maybe you should uh, pick me up a llama. Okay, for $11? You buy that? Yeah. Okay, well. You'll pick good, up. Matthew. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pick up a llama for you next time I'm there. Okay. Sounds good, pal. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know, I feel like... I feel like that's a good question, though, and I feel like that could make a really funny video. I agree. like, the word... Actually, my other answer, that LEGO Ideas GameStop project. <laughs> <laughs> With peace and love to the creator, because I know I don't want to, like, dunk on people's hard work, but come on, dude. That wasn't hard work. It was a cube built in LDD. Like, come on, dude. With nothing relating to GameStop in the window. <laughs> And it didn't have, like, a monkey off to the side? It, like, a monkey, <laughs> it didn't have thing. a monkey off to the side. <laughs> it was, like, a monkey pole dancing on the, like, right side of the build. Actually, the other worst side, remember that, like, weird board game set yes, that... Yes, yes. The, like, 
like Latin American thing. Yeah, the Latin American like sports set that was like really like multicolored and looked like it was just made using a creative brick box. And everyone was like, "Was this botted?" Like, I I think people suspect that one. Like, the votes on that one being botted because like no one understood how that got to ten thousand. Okay, wait. What if people heard that you can get gifts? Like, you get gifts if it doesn't pass reviews, so they just like botted a project so they get free Lego. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much security Lego Ideas has, but if I had to guess based on Lego's shop website design, I would guess not much. Uh, yeah. So. I feel like it would be too hard to get past it. <laughs> I mean, but considering it is not English, I could see there being a possibility that that is just some culture, cultural thing I don't understand, and like maybe that game is really popular there, and even though the project so, looked ugly, the idea behind it the was other something. other thing I was thinking is if some big like Latin American news site or something... Or like if there was a Latin American like a YouTuber who made it, like... Yeah. I don't know, but I, yeah. I don't have enough context, but just like with not knowing any of that, that was the strangest ideas project, and... Like, that was one that definitely would never become a set, because could you imagine that on a box? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, do you think we will ever get movie-accurate sets with Spider-Man No Way Home? Uh-uh. I don't think, like... I don't know if I can say never, but no, I don't think it's... Not good. as a part of the in- initial run, I do think Infinity Saga in, like, a couple years could get them. Yeah. Uh, but not not as a part of like the No Way Home wave, like the same way like well, No Way Home Civil War got a second wave. I don't think, but that was one set, and just yeah. like Spider Man or or End End Game got a second wave, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like if Spider Man was getting more, we'd know about it by now. I I agree. I I don't necessarily think it's impossible one day, but I don't think you should hold your breath for it. Yeah, I think the only way we get it is Infinity Saga, maybe in a year or two. Yeah. You're very right. tired, Matthew. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> um, Matthew, did you watch uh, Mega's reveal panel for the upcoming Halo sets? What do you think? I'm going to be completely honest with you. Ever since Jazzware started making Halo toys, I have not bought Mega Bloks. <laughs> um, because Jazzware's toys are so much better than... Like, I, I just enjoy them, I guess, so much more than anything I get out of Mega Bloks. Like, their quality's been decreasing every year. Um, I think their sets don't look nearly as good as they used to. They look, they, they've really regressed in terms of set design. I'll, no, I'll send you right now, like, the things that are coming. I know you don't know Halo or Mega Bloks, but, like, they're just kind of weak looking. <laughs> like, they, they're, they're just pretty. I, I don't know. It is not what it used to be, which is really sad because there was a time when Mega Bloks, I think, kind of peaked and was really solid. Their builds were always like almost model quality. That time has like that that ship has sailed, and it, it it it's just like they look like mocks made out of generic Lego pieces, and the min, like their minifigures are just I don't know. It just it doesn't work that well, and especially like. I was into it for so long because that was, for so long, the only widely available Halo toy. And as a huge Halo fan, I like to be able to like buy stuff from the things I like. Right. But ever since Jazzware kind of took up the mantle of like Halo toy production, dude, they kill it. And all of their figures are top-notch, and I love their line. And I just kind of am not that interested in Mega Bloks anymore, um, which is sad. But here, I'm um, finding... So, like, one of, this is literally just a re-release of a set from 2009. It, it, they barely even Yeah, changed. that doesn't look great. It did change the design very slightly, but it's just, like, it was fine in 2009, but, like, it just looks really weak. Yeah. Like, they're making a new Phantom, and I'm going to be honest, I think the old one looked better. Like, this, this looks like a mock, and, like, it looks like something I would design myself, which is, like, cool but also if i'm getting a set i i kind of expect molded pieces because that's always been something they're known for like really unique molds and prints like they're making a new scorpion tank and this looks worse than everyone they've made before yeah um i feel like like, i feel like their budget has just gone down to zero and they're just trying to squeeze out what they have left and the other thing i'll say is their prices continue to go up so none of these are like competitively priced with like lego sets of similar like 
they're priced as much as a Lego set would be priced based on their piece count. And I right. feel like absurd for Mega Bloks. Right. <laughs> so, it, 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 I don't know. It's just not what it used to be. And I'm not, I, I really don't even know if I consider myself a Mega Bloks collector anymore. Like, wow. I have not bought Mega Bloks in probably close to a year. And I, I see the new stuff at the store sometimes, but it's just like, I don't want this when I can for like for the for the same price as a Mega Bloks like tiny warthog. I can get like a giant Jazzwares warthog with really cool, well detailed action figures, and I'd rather do that. Have they announced any new Pokemon sets? Um, I don't think so. I've been seeing like a two evolution, like a, an evolution versus pack, like two of them in like one of those fifteen dollars sets at Target. And another set with the four uh, red and blue starters, but, like, nothing too crazy. When I say four, uh, I mean the two as well. It looks like Series 15 of the, like, the individual figures came out. What are they? It's the Sinnoh starters, so it's Tartwig, Chimchar, Piplop. Oh, I have not seen that. Oh, I have not seen them in stores, but it looks like they're on their website. I already have those. Tartwig, uh, open. And I, then I, it's Bidoof, Shinx, and Rotom. Okay, I think those three are new. But yeah. I already Ch have Chimchar looks atrocious. Here, let me show the viewers this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but um, I've, I I just like, uh, I really don't consider myself a Mega Bloks fan anymore. Um, yeah. I, don't... I got kind of into the, the Pokemon a little bit last year, but I, I don't know. Pokemon, I think the Pokemon are good. I'm going to be honest, I'd probably rather collect the Jazzwares figurines at this point, though. Like, yeah. For for a little bit less money, you get better looking Pokemon. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know, because I love Pokemon toys, and I think they're a lot of fun to collect and whatnot. Mega Bloks is not the avenue I would go through anymore. Like, honestly, I'm pretty... Also, it's really painful to say, but they just don't release enough product for it to be fun to collect. Yeah. Um, they have one drop of Pokemon sets and one drop of Halo sets a year. And it's, it's not like a really big wave. It's like four sets for each. And I'm like, yeah. this is not fun. What is the point of this? Dude, it, please just let Lego have the, have the license for both of them, honestly. I, just... I honestly think it is time to let Mega Bloks go. Like, I, <laughs> it is dead. And, and this is coming from, you can vouch for this, someone who was at one time a huge Mega Bloks. Oh, player. yeah, no. Because what did... I got the freaking... Um, Wait, you're cutting out. Oh. oh, oh, we're good, we're good, okay. I got the freaking, um, Enterprise over that Ninjago wave. Over, was it the Temple of Arjitsu? It was the Samurai X Cave. Oh, the I, Samurai X Cave. I think it was the other big one, the, uh, Sonic Raider. Yes, okay, so, yeah, the, the, the Mega, Mega Blocks, um, Star Trek, Enterprise came out the same time as the Day of the Departed Rave, and Matthew got the Enterprise instead of the Day of the Departed Rave. Yep. Um, which I made fun of him nonstop for at the time. <laughs> so yeah, he he's a he's a long time Mega Bloks fan. Yeah, like I've been a Mega Bloks fan almost since Halo start. I, I I probably got into it in 2011, and it started I think in 2009. So I've been a fan for most of its runtime, but it's just like I've really lost interest in it i haven't bought sets since the initial wave of halo infinite in 2020 for halo and i got some pokemon last year but man it just it doesn't make me happy anymore like yeah especially having a better halo toy line out there now because for most of that time mcfarlane was on its way out and then there was kind of an action figure vacuum and i just enjoy the action figures more than i enjoy the mega blocks at this point like because yeah. i'm on top of that, the sets really don't look that good anymore. Like, yeah. I don't think the sets have looked that good since 2018, maybe. Like, there was... Yeah, it's in... probably... That's when their budget probably started dipping. Yeah, well... That's around when Pokemon really took off for them. Yeah. Because for a while, it was... All of their budget, I think, was really going into Halo. And, like, they'd have their side projects, like Call of Duty and stuff. But that was getting two sets a year. But... And they also lost quite a few licenses. Like, they lost minions to Lego. They don't have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles anymore, right? Yeah, I uh, that that was kind of short-lived. 
but like I I know like they had they used to have they actually they had the DC and Marvel license before Lego did didn't they way back in the day yeah well okay I don't think they ever had DC oh was it just Marvel because Lego was making Lego Batman in like 2005 oh right right yeah so between like the Spider Man movies releases and when Avengers in 2012 Mega Contracts actually had Marvel license yes which was crazy to think about but yeah now their themes are. What, what even are their themes? They have Pokemon, which obviously that's big. Hot Wheels is the theme they do. Hot Wheels, which like, I guess. It's literally just their knockoff of Speed Champions. Yeah, Barbie, which who cares? It's just friends. I don't even know if they still do that. It's still on their website at, at the very least. I think they have Call of Duty still on their website and they haven't released They any. do not have Call of Duty still on their website. Oh, okay. They have um, Halo, obviously. <laughs> Breakout Beasts, was is that an original theme? Uh -huh. it, it, it's not really produced anymore and masters of the universe which that they still do produce i feel like that doesn't have a huge fan base though it it has like a cult following like it has a small yeah. fan base but it is super loyal like master of the universe action figures are pretty popular oh really yeah and then they also have a the mega constructs black series has tesla yes i don't know if that ever actually came out uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> check this out, guys. There's the Mega Construct Cybertruck. Yeah, there is. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's disappointing, but. Wait, it just has, like, instructions to the Cybertruck. I don't want those. I want the set. <laughs> um, you know what I find really, if I was on Mega Construct's, uh, Twitter the other day for whatever reason... And they, like, share people's mocks and whatnot. Yes. But there's so little, like, Mega Constructs mocks that, like, almost every single one of them you can see Lego parts in the pictures. And well, they still share it because... There is no way to get Mega Box pieces. Yeah. There's no, like, Brooklyn for Mega Box. There's... It's not that easy to find exclusively Mega Box part lots on, um ebay or whatever without finding lego mixed in or without it being super expensive and also consider why would you want exclusively mega blocks anyway because the pieces yeah. are just lower quality like i i don't I'm, i prefer minifigure to mega box figure but i get that some people prefer mega blocks figures so i do like the figures if you like the license it's cool but lego bricks are just objectively better better no, lego bricks are higher quality and lego's at a point where they they lego now has most of the weird exclusive pieces mega blocks used to have yeah like i've seen people pretty much one-to-one -one make equal or better halo vehicles of every halo vehicle that mega blocks has ever produced and it's like that could not have happened 10 years ago when mega blocks started but we're at a point now with lego where they make a lot of specialized pieces that they didn't used to so yeah I don't know. It's just, it's not what it used to be. It doesn't feel as special as it used to be. Like Mega Constructs fell off for real. No, it, honestly, I feel like it did. L like, plus ratio plus no one cares. I mean, they, they have like Lego. Just where Lego is right now with its evolution and whatnot, I think it has far surpassed mega constructs in every way and i do think at one point there was some things that mega constructs did better that is no longer the case yeah there there is no area that mega constructs beats lego not even value like it is not cheaper anymore in fact nope. some of the sets are arguably more expensive yeah have... and, I, and i i even know like from the pokemon like the mystery pokemon are seven or eight dollars right yeah they're they're i think 6.99 yeah so seven dollars and like compare that to like the mario figures which are five and same exact thing. Like, yeah, and I, I've mentioned this before. Like, as much as I hate that minifigures are up from four to five, five is still pretty cheap compared to any other toy companies like mystery figures. <laughs> yes. So, as much as it sucks, like, it makes me not as upset with Lego be considering that they're still cheaper than any other toy company right now. Agreed. Which is kind of funny, but... Anyway, that 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 was that was a pretty good topic. Thank you, um, uh, X Iron Wolf Ninja X. Yep. All right, let's now let's take a look at the 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 Bricks by Mind Discord server. Um, most one Ninjago location that hasn't gotten a set yet. Uh, easy. Um, small city of Ouroboros. Oh, okay, that's not mine. What's yours? Shintaro. Oh yeah, that that would be really pretty too. I um, just it would look good on display. That would be gorgeous. Um. 
Lost City of Ouroboros is my number one, and Mega Monster Amusement Park would be my number two. Oh, that would be really cool, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you watched Star Wars Rebels? And if so, what do you think of it? I saw I episode one, it. I thought it was fine. I started it, I got into a couple episodes, but it didn't really pique my interest. Like, I'm a big Star Wars fan. That's... I feel like it's kind of um, after my time. Like I just yeah. feel too old to get into it. Oh, yeah, I feel about the same with it as I feel with Clone Wars. Where I feel like if I watched it as a kid, I would have nostalgia for it and like it. Yeah. But I, as I, an adult, I can't really go back. I, I haven't tried going back for Rebels. I have tried going back for Clone Wars. But like with Clone but, Wars, I can't get into it. I love Clone Wars for what it is. But I, I feel like if I hadn't seen it as a kid, or when I was younger at least, I would have zero interest in it anymore. Yeah. Like it, it it's fine and i have a childhood connection to it but like it's not the kind of thing that i find riveting anymore like i think the actual star wars movies and the live action tv shows are significantly better than any of the animated stuff they've done for star wars yeah like what they're doing in mandalorian and to an extent boba fett is so much more what i want from star wars than what um clone wars is and as much as i love clone wars era and prequel era like stuff and i think the vehicles look good I am an original trilogy fan at heart, and Mandalorian and Boba Fett and all that stuff gives us that. I am so, curious what uh, Obi Wan's going to do when it comes to that. Like, are we going to get live action prequel stuff? I think there is going to be some flashback stuff. Well, but even still, like even modern times, like I know Anakin and Darth Vader at that point, but like it's still the transitional period. Like, I don't think stormtroopers are going to be commonplace and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what that show's going to be like. Because um, it's only, what, a few years after episode three, right? Is it? Okay. Because, I mean, just lo- logistically, I mean, we see what Obi-Wan looks like in episode four compared to episode three. He's going to look a lot closer to his episode three appearance. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's true. I hadn't thought about that. But Yeah. Um, I'm excited for that show. I really haven't thought about it too much. But Whatever happened in the battle droids after episode three? And just sort of like stop. I think, I think that when they killed the people on Mustafar, when Anakin killed them, they were all deactivated. Ah, uh, okay. Like I'm pretty sure that Palpatine was like, okay, shut them all down. Okay. <laughs> I think that's part of why Anakin went there. Yeah. Okay. I don't really remember episode three very much. That's okay. All right, and then finally, our most important question, Matthew, minion or the Bob for today? Wow, this is an old one. Always the minion. Uh, really, I'm a fan of the Bob. I'm a um, lifetime minion supporter. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Loot Crew Podcast, or even if you didn't, you know what? Press like, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. It helps support me because that boosts us in the algorithm because they're like, yo, people are commenting. They must like this stuff. Argue in the comments. Tell me, is Clone Wars good? Is Clone Wars bad? Is Mega Constructs good? Is Mega Constructs bad? Also, what's that noise, Matthew? Are you okay? I sneezed. Oh, uh, you sneezed? I thought you, like, <laughs> th- clamped your finger in something. You're like, ah! No, no, I sneezed. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment. Tell me whatever you want. Tell me about your day. I hope you had a great day. I hope you, you specifically, yeah, you. I'm, t- I'm talking about you in particular. I hope you had a great day. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Um, Sean, uh, for the next one, um, what, what day do you want to film? Uh, Saturday good? Saturday? Yeah. It's a weird day to film. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I just... I feel like that would probably work best. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll film Saturday. Sounds good.